Welcome back again to my channel. Today I will be talking about yet another post-colonial concept, catacresis. Uh, literally, uh, catacresis means when we misuse one word in place of another. Uh, OED defines, Oxford English Dictionary defines it like that. And it's the use of a word in an incorrect way. For example, the use of word mitigate for militate. In post-colonial studies, once again, Gayatri Spivak uses the term catacresis, which is a bit akin to appropriation, on which I do have a video as well. And I'll post a link to it uh, in the description. But the way she describes it, it catacresis is a, a practice in which the natives, the colonized natives, take up something that could have only been developed by the Europeans or could have only been uh, conceptualized by the colonizers. But they appropriate it and then create its own native history by way of claiming that you didn't come up with this. We had this even before you came. And here is how we dealt with these issues. Uh, a good example that Bill Ashcraft and others give in their book, Key Concepts uh, on, in Postcolonial Studies, is uh, the concept of representative parliamentary democracy. Now, generally speaking, we understand that the concept of parliamentary democracy developed in Europe but within the Indian context and elsewhere, the local scholars, philosophers, leaders would sometimes go back in their own history and say, no, you didn't come up with this. We already had a sort of a politically representative system in the panchayat system, in the village councils, and also um, we actually came up with it, or maybe it's our own system of government. So anytime the natives, scholars, or even people in their practice take up something that is established by the colonizers as something that they came up with and they introduced. And if the natives infuse it with their own local knowledge, with their own local history, by way of claiming that this idea can be transformed and that its origin can be traced to the native cultures themselves, that is an act of catacresis. And Spivak actually uses this uh, strategy in a lot of her major works, especially um, uh, in Can the Subaltern Speak, that last part of the um, essay where she goes and tells us the story of the woman who had committed a suicide is kind of an act of catacresis. Um, rereading the history of resistance and the reading of her death as a subaltern woman. So overall catacresis, slightly akin to appropriation and uh, can be a revolutionary practice because it ena enables the natives to redefine concepts and practices that the colonizers might have claimed to be their own original inventions by suggesting that they previously had their system, these systems within their own cultures. And maybe if an act of epistemic violence through colonialism had not happened, maybe the native cultures would have developed these into more sophisticated systems. Another example can I can give you is, for example, in the North Americas, uh, most of the early European histories record the experience of contact of these Europeans with so-called savage people. But when Howard Zinn writes the history of people's history of United States, you know, he goes and explains to us that, no, the League of Iroquois had a complex legal system. So an act of catacresis on the part of the Iroquois would then be that if they were to write their own history, they would argue that the Europeans didn't bring civilization, they didn't bring law, they didn't bring a justice system that the native culture of the League of Iroquois had its own systems which were democratic and representative. So on the whole, this is my understanding of catacresis. Uh, I will post links in the description for further study if you would like to follow it 
you know further and learn some more and i hope this was useful to you and uh, if it was you know please pass the word and subscribe to the channel and come back for more such brief videos and thank you so much for joining me and see you all next time